Welcome to the fish tank. Hey everybody, Fishman here, and welcome to another video. Before we get started on today's build, I wanted to show you the progress of this. This is the uh, five-stage airlift I had made, and this is just a tower uh, trickle filter system. It's starting to mature now. It's getting some algae all over it. Uh, the pothos is growing quite well, as you can see, uh, though most of it's actually kind of in the back where you actually can't see. Uh, but it's doing really well. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't cleaned it. I haven't uh, had to adjust it or anything. And it's still chugging along nicely. And the reason I wanted to show you this is I got a comment from... Actually, two comments from uh, one uh, commenter. Uh, I'm going to try and say what his channel name is. Uh, My Cool Moral Leha. I'll just pop it up there for you to read. Uh, he put two comments up. One, I think, was just kind of tongue-in-cheek. He was thinking that... Uh, I could make a rather interesting Rube Goldberg machine. And I was kind of thinking that the five stage is kind of along those lines, but this tank has all this space in it. And if um, I were to make something like that, it would fit easily into this. And it's just a thought. If someone's interested or you guys are interested in me uh, trying that kind of project as a, uh, a viewer input build, just let me know and we'll, you can try putting something like that together. By the way, that big palm in the back there is just a rescue I got from uh, a school, or I have a tank. It was just drying out, so I thought I would bring it back to life, but it may or may not make it. Who knows? So anyway, that's the reason why I showed you this. And the other reason why I, I, I mentioned him is he meant, he uh, suggested a source for corrugated material, which will come up a little later on. So here's the sponge. It's been running... Um, non-stop since uh, I put up last uh, week's video and I just want to show you a couple clips of it here uh, the water inside is doing really quite nicely you can see it's uh, splashing around in there and I think it's actually going to be uh, quite cool now obviously you can see the bear one of the bearings has slipped a little bit and the raw has moved over and a couple people mentioned that they thought maybe that might be an issue uh, it is actually a bit of one but that's only because currently this is all just set up temporary once I put all the caps on and I get the better bushing sizes it will not be an issue at all and the other question I got uh, one of the comments I got is how hard this is to change out and there you go that's how hard that is to change out uh, it is actually beginning to get a little bit of a smell to it now uh, and it's uh, getting to the point where it actually may become a good biological filter uh, but it still has a ways to go. I mean, it's only been a few days and it's going to take obviously a month or two or more before that is actually really doing anything significant. So what I've done here is I'm going to put together the water wheel today and I'm not going to glue them into place because you guys are going to decide whether or not this is going to become a water wheel or I'm going to stick with a sponge. And then of course we're going to get on to uh, the rest of the aspects of this build. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the pieces in and I am going to uh, tie them in with a uh, fishing line just to hold them in place. Just so obviously you know, when this starts to spin, it is, you know, fall into place and stuff. There's enough friction there. I, I cut them as precise as possible uh, that they fit in quite well. But again, I'm just going to make sure they uh, well, stay where they need to be, at least for the short period of time that this is going to be filmed. If this turns out to be the version that uh, the majority want, uh, I'll obviously have to glue these into place. And the other thing I need to do, of course, uh, is put them in a little bit more precisely. I just eyeballed this to, uh, just for the uh, initial setups to get this running. Uh, but to avoid any kind of uh, wobble or uh, speed variation, depending upon you know where they're spaced, I'll, I'll definitely measure that all out and, and glue them in properly. Now, for today's video, uh, the first choice you guys have to uh, do is you have to pick between the three varieties. The sponge, uh, the water wheel, and the corrugated fiber port. Uh, you'll get to see the final two today, and I will run them. Uh, but then again, that's just the beginning. We have to figure out what we're going to do with this. I've been running this as a standalone in an aquarium, but now we have to get to the point where we're going to figure out what to do with it like long term while this runs as a, as a filter system as a lot of people pointed out uh, especially with the uh, the sponge it is a great biofilter but it has no mechanical filtration capacity so to make this a little bit more of a complete filter 
we have to put it into some sort of system. And there are two options. Uh, some people wanted it in some kind of hob, uh, which is fine. It will hang off the back somewhere. And it will be part of that system where it will um, obviously have water delivered to this. That water will go into uh, like a particle filter and uh, some other form of filtration. It can be, uh, we'll get to that later. We won't worry about the specifics of that right now. And the other option is to keep it in the aquarium, but instead of just having it uh, as a standalone, uh, I can make that rack higher and then it can have a, a system where it's delivered to uh, a trace filtration system. Uh, much like the, uh, the lift system that you saw in the beginning of this video, uh, but obviously run by, you know, a pump. So here we go, turning it on. And the first thing I noticed when I plug this in is it spins an awful lot faster because uh, it is hitting, uh, you know, obviously the wheels and the wheels are just... Uh, yep, we're going to go for it. And they dump at the end. The other thing I noticed, it splashes a lot more. So this particular version, if it ends up being the one picked, uh, we're going to have to put a cap on it. The other one doesn't splash at all. There was no, not even a single drop came out of it. It was really kind of nice. It just got all absorbed by the sponge. And obviously because it, was, uh, it spun much more slowly, there was no splashing whatsoever. Now I can slow this down, obviously. Uh, the important thing is that it spins. Uh, now, it can be, uh, I can put more friction on it with ease. So we can slow this down, so don't make that your deciding factor. And for this uh, test here, I only put two pieces of sponge in because uh, I didn't want to cut up a whole pile of extra sponge for this if this is not gonna be the build that's gonna end up happening because I could use that and other stuff, especially for clients and stuff. So I, I didn't want to end up cutting it all up. This is just the last little piece I had left from when I made uh, the big cylinder for the sponge version. These two pieces are enough though just to give you a visual for it. And I wanted to see as they spun around uh, how the sponge actually changes uh, any of the splashing. Uh, it didn't really affect it that much, uh, but again, that's all things that can be gotten around easily. And if I, even if I decided to leave a lot of splashing, uh, it does form a purpose in the sense of degassing, but this has to be slowed down because uh, it is not going to dry out enough. There's not gonna be enough air getting into the sponge uh, for it to do the biological aspect of this filter. And that's primarily what this is supposed to be. Though it does look kind of cool, uh, and it does, uh, I mean, also it's not gonna have the blue on it. I left the, the backing on the pieces of, uh, acrylic I cut just for that purpose so it would show up better uh, but again that's uh, neither here nor there either so here it is uh, with the better resolution and you can see the splashing uh, it's significant but again not really important for your decision because uh, it can just be encased or slowed down I mean all the other stuff is going to happen but I wanted you to have a good look at that so that is option two Option three is uh, the corrugated fiber. And in this case, it is uh, a furnace filter that I cut a section off. And this is um, fiberglass, I'm pretty sure, just by the feel of it. Uh, but it doesn't say anywhere on uh, the filter what it is actually, so I'm not entirely sure. And all I'm gonna do is uh, take a bit of it here, and I'm gonna wrap it around a few times. I'm gonna run it uh, in the opposite direction of the seam so that uh, the water won't peel it off. Uh, what I should do is have this attached somehow. Uh, but I wanted to do a, a quick one of this. I wanted to have a look at it and see if it absorbs water properly and how it splashes and everything, and all that stuff. So it's more than enough for this quick visual. And, and then if this, as I said, becomes the proper choice, uh, I'm going to have to add something extra to the actual inner wheel for um, the, uh, the actual wheel itself. There has to be something there to hold the fiber in place. This has the least surface area of all the options though. So, I mean, that's the maximum would be just a sponge by itself. And then option two uh, is pretty close to that. Uh, but again, a little bit different. But again, option two has the advantage that you can just take out one or two sponges and clean a few at a time and then stagger it. Uh, but anyways, a whole pile of variables in this, but we won't worry about that for now. So we're gonna turn this on uh, and get it to run. And the first thing I noticed is it is not absorbent at all. It doesn't, I mean, I ran this for a little while. Uh, I put something to prevent it from splashing all over the place because it certainly did that. 
Uh, and then when I turned it off and pulled it off uh, and had a look at it, it was still not wet. It was it just sort of runs off of it. So anyway, that's option three. Uh, let me know option one, two, or three for uh, the actual uh, bio wheel. And then whether you want this as a inside the tank where it's going to go to a tower filter or uh, as a hob. So those are your choices. Uh, definitely leave comments and let me know what you think. And as you can see, this one really splashes, but that's only because it doesn't absorb at all. So if you like this style of video, please like and or subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, and bye for now.